So let's talk about top tier units in Union Raid because uh, a lot of people kind of have asked about this and I would say these are based on our experience and my discussions with a bunch of other different top players and uh, everyone else in the stream so let's just go right into it all right so i would say for burst one very very straightforward really litter and miranda are pretty much the top tier burst one units because litter has obviously yeah, everyone knows litter that she's op but Miranda is actually used for a lot of... I would say she's very popular with Snow White team. And she is... And Snow White team is pretty much a top tier team in the Union Raid. I've talked about it in one of my previous videos. Again, uh, how, why, how and why you should build Snow White team. I talked about it, why she is top tier. And that's why... Uh, Miranda is a top tier also but even if you don't have Snow White you can actually use her for any other team as well because her buff is like she buffs a single the highest attack right and so if you have like a very invested one unit so you could you know you could have you could probably have Alice or like Scarlet or whoever that you have right that would be where Miranda can be used as well and you just very basically just support that one unit whole whole way through actually with miranda she's actually not that bad on scarlet because if you can have if you can maintain scarlet's burst three so you have a scarlet burst three uh, uh burst three skill three which is burst uh sh when she's below 50 percent hp she has a critical rate increase and in that situation miranda who has a big buff attack and critical damage that actually just synergizes really well so if you can maintain a below 50 percent uh scarlet with miranda is actually not a bad composite combination as well and then the third team typically is either n102 or volume i would say they're both roughly the same depending on like how you kind of build your team up but volume is good because she has cooldown burst reduction and n102 has a buff that's just really good so like if we're going to go with top tier union raid and you can build only three teams these would be the top units in burst one category and then in burst two obviously dala dala has is the only burst two right now that has burst cooldown reduction and so she is top tier and she is top tier in the team where there is no litter because litter already reduces burst cooldown reduction and typically the way i build union raid teams is i have litter on one team and then i put dala on another team and then on my third team i would put volume and these three units litter dala and volume have all have their own burst cooldown reduction and so that way i usually can burst like roughly every 15 seconds instead of every 20 seconds i burst every 15 seconds with them spread out on different teams and that's why i would say like dala is a top unit in union raid because of that then the other ones following them is pretty much these are the other top units guilty has extremely high dps i had another video uh you guys know that uh i showed how op guilty is in this video and really the the stronger your dps is and more and more people are getting uh overload on helmet and gloves and armor which adds attack and if you have those unit you you definitely would want to pair guilty with them and that way guilty will be taking stats from them as well and novel she is typically partnered with litter actually and she really synergizes really well with novel or er, litter and novel synergizes really well within that five second duration you have five second buff from litter and five second debuff from novel and novels 
debuff lasts for five seconds and he has a damage taken increase and without litter this actually is not as great like for example if you if you use volume with novel it's not as good as if you use litter with novel so obviously and so you want to take advantage of that so typically litter and novel are partnered together um but some people haven't really invested a lot in novel then and some some have invested in rupee instead and that's fine i would say rupee is kind of like the in-between of debuff and dps which is kind of like in between novel and guilty and rupee has really good dps and just also good buff and that's why i would say these are probably the top four union raid units to me and a little below them would be quincy and add me add me is very kind of specific because like you she's mainly used with her burst really like oh also some people look at this like charge damage increase and they would immediately think that add me is good with sniper rifle or rocket launcher but you gotta think in mind how does the condition work when you activate when attack 20 times for a majority of the bosses you actually don't get attacked 20 times and in particular add me has to be the one that has to be attacked so this usually is not really that great and then she reduces the damage or the uh the attack so all in all the main reason why you would use add me is pr primarily the reloading speed there's a little bit of bonus in the critical damage so she's actually not bad when you put her together with volume because volume has a critical rate increase but at the same time also like the the reloading speed is just right there yeah um that's that's probably the biggest thing on her and so in the teams for add me you usually probably wouldn't really use her um outside of probably the scarlet reload team or um typically if you put add me with brevity you can reach a hundred percent reload speed and that in some scenarios that actually ends up being kind of pretty fun to use so you could do that as well and quincy honestly she is kind of like an in-between she is a good buffer but uh you know obviously that's rupee has that as well but then she also doesn't provide dps like guilty does Here's one thing that I would say you could use Quincy for actually and a lot of people didn't really emphasize this enough or like thought about this enough but you could actually use her as a pseudo healer because she actually has a max HP increase for the two highest ally attack and also um, yeah yeah th th that's the main thing whenever she bursts so she actually does have a heal for your top DPS and um maybe it might end up being useful for some bosses but so that's one thing where you could actually start using quincy and she has that a little bit of plus side on her but if terms of like full open offensive i think uh novel and rupee might end up being uh, a little bit more on top not mainly also because you could also get duplicates of them but um and also just the timing of her buffs are not really that great even though it's five seconds out of eight seconds it's still nicer if you can have your full burst duration at the same time as when the buff is active or like for example when you're bursting with snow white right uh maybe you might have to end up like timing this one would uh when her burst is or let's say like scarlet's burst in that aoe uh there is a possibility that when you burst this this one was is not out uh, but i mean that's pretty pretty trivial but still um it's still something a factor to consider but i would say the good thing about her is she does have this buff and then like some sort of mix of heal would 
that's why I would put Quincy in but yeah so next one is the burst trees these are the top top burst tree units Scarlet, Modernia, Snow White, Alice, Maxwell are the top most that I would say like in terms of Union Raid I would put them as like I'd say triple S tier in terms of Union Raid but basically like having them is really really good having having these units is really really good Alice and Maxwell and Snow White have one of the best scalings on bursts and when you actually have properly invested on in them they are actually really up high there one thing to note though is Alice is probably the only Tetra in here and so if you have like Tetra attacker uh, she is pretty much kind of like the sole person to give this to I did not put um, Sugar here because she I would say even though Sugar is good for shotgun team I would not say that she is as top tier uh, as these other units but uh I would say Sugar would be a good core for shotgun teams. I'll talk about more of the, the different teams that we can build. But uh, talking about just specifically the units, Maxwell has really really good burst scaling and has really really good skill 1 buff. She's pretty good at buffing, that's all I care about. And uh, she has really good burst scaling and so that's why I put her above in top in terms of top tier union raid units and typically i would say the most common combination would probably be scarlet and modernia snow white on her own alice and maxwell together and then usually i would say like laplace is actually kind of like a good flex unit like for example if i you don't have like scarlet uh you can use her kind of as a part breaker and I've, I've used her multiple times in that scenario as well where i combined max uh laplace with modernia in, ter uh, in terms of breaking modernia's parts and then drake is just an overall like a good dps uh, non-burster if you don't burst with her same with privati she would be a good sub dps because she buffs really well so those are the top tier uh, Union Raid units and then I want to talk about the Union Raid units that are good for flexing or like units that might have some use or worth considering. Probably the most common one already that people are aware of are the shield units which is Arya and Folkwang. They were really useful with Modernia because they provide shields and allows you to be not be stunned whenever Moderna does her AoE and so this one was she was useful but then this time around though she is not Moderna is not gonna be in the this this union raid I think um unless they do some weird change or update we're probably not going to see them but there might be there might be some other boss where we could end up using them anyways other than that Coco is sometimes useful for removing debuffs. She might end up being used in this raid. We will see though, but there is a good chance she might end up being useful. We'll we'll see uh, how the Union raid will end up being like. But with Nihilister, she might end up being really, really useful. And then we have Sakura. Her kit was just release, released today and she's gonna be core for top tier union raid guilds for doing train because we have seen how strong train is and however strong train is in special interception multiply that by 10. well not really in ter uh not in terms of attack but the hp is <laughs> multiplied by roughly 10 so have fun and so that's why she, she might be actually be used and core and then healers obviously you have pepper helm rapunzel christmas and noise rapunzel and christmas and for revives in terms of boss one shots and that this happened last union raid where the boss we cannot 
could not interrupt boss one shots and they actually will come in handy and then noise some people have seen how you can dodge with noise left and right this is still applicable to a good number of bosses so i, I would even say that she is actually she might be seeing usage and this union raid also we will see and then very situational bossing units damage immunity invincibility or damage share in particular the damage share poly yulha and jackal they have damage share and they could actually be used for uh some of the one-shot bosses because some bosses doesn't have an instantaneous one-shot or like a, an instant kill one-shot it's just like some bosses have really high deep damage that seems like it's an instant kill but it's not it's just a really high damage and for those kind of scenarios you could actually use damage share and share the damage on multiple teams and they would actually survive uh because of that so these units would actually come in handy all right so that's it for part one of this video so because it's getting kind of long so i'm gonna have to split it into two part one would be just the meta units and i'll be putting the link here part two about the meta teams for union raid and uh be sure to click that if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to click the like and then comment and subscribe and you know all that jazz and make sure to follow me on twitch i will be streaming all the union raids and as usual twitch.tv slash and i'll see you guys there